And of course, as the runners are making their way out on the pavement, they are thinking about what's motivating them to keep pushing forward. Now, one runner out there is thinking about the man who has been by his side for the past 10 years and this year will be running alongside him in spirit. Because he was a good man. He was a good friend. He was a good running partner. Javier Cruz will be hitting a major milestone at this year's Bakersfield Marathon. It's going to be his 100th marathon. But that's not what he'll be thinking about. I will be thinking here on this spot. I'm going to run through here. I'm going to be... He's going to be carrying me. For 10 years, Cruz ran alongside his friend, Joseph Tamel. His main goal, believe it or not, was to qualify for Boston, and we both planned to go and run the Istanbul Marathon. Training together every day, Joseph hoped to run marathons just as fast as his friend. Eight or nine years of training very hard, he qualified once. He always told me, in life, the only way you can achieve things is through hard work and sweat. But in 2018, Tamal was diagnosed with stomach cancer, putting his training on hold for a year while he underwent chemotherapy and surgery, until finally he was able to lace up once again. His medicine is in the pavement. He felt that this was the medicine that he needed to keep going. It's relentless. He was strong. He was a faithful man that he can do it. And he promised me, I will run the half marathon. And yes, he did train very hard. In 2020, Cruz and Tamal were finally going to achieve a long time dream, running in the Istanbul Marathon in Turkey, Tamal's home country. But then the pandemic forced travel bans and they had to cancel their trip. We couldn't go, but then before he died, I promised him that I'm going to go and get the Istanbul medal for him. It was God's destiny. That's, those were his last words. That was his God's destiny. And then at the end, he told me, I'll text you from heaven. With those last words on his mind and their promise in his heart, Cruz made the trip out to Istanbul. And I did go last year. I ran it. I did very well. And I brought the medal and went to the cemetery and put it on his neck. It will be so challenging to run the marathon. He will be carrying me. He will be the one. I'm not going to be running alone. This is where we trained for years. So his spirit, I know he's going to be here. I miss him a lot. I miss him a lot. God bless him. Now, Cruz's story is just one of the many inspirational stories of runners making their way out here in the marathon today. Again, we're going to be out here at mile marker 23. We have, we have Gatorade, we have water, and we are so looking forward to just cheering on all the amazing athletes making their way out here in Bakersfield today. We'll send it back to you in studio, Kristen. But for now, live in Bakersfield, I'm Veronica Morley, 23ABC, connecting you.